Let me go out on the greatest right here. And what is finna say? What is finna say? There we go. Bam. We in Pittsburgh right now. Um, we have a girlfriend who done saw the boyfriend on fire. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look, 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 look. First of four, a woman is behind bars on attempted homicide charges accused of setting her own boyfriend on fire. Our Erica Stanish got her hands on the paperwork and has more from a witness. Yeah. Erica, what happened? We got a witness. Yeah, well, Cecilia Perez is behind bars tonight, uh, facing a slew of charges after police say she admitted to dousing her boyfriend and rubbing alcohol while they were under the influence and then catching him on fire. Sure. Now, I did talk to a witness and neighbor to this entire incident who says, sadly, he saw this coming, but he tried stopping it. He tried. He tried. I knew sooner or later somebody's going to get hurt. And sure enough, this man um, almost lost his life. Eugene Sheely lives in the apartment upstairs here on Madeline Street. Mm -hmm. He says this woman, 47-year-old Cecilia Perez. 47, Cecilia. Everybody say, well, hey, the auntie, she look like old auntie. I like the hoop earrings, baby. Shout that baby out for having her real. It's all matching. See, now every, everybody can't rock the low cut. She rocking the low cut, though. Go ahead, Miss Perez. Has lived downstairs mm -hmm. for the past five months and has been nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble that monkey acting up. They were fighting and moaning and screaming and crying. He says he heard Perez and a man arguing, and then the man begging for his life. Okay. I went and got my bat up in the attic, and I took my bat on on the floor. And I started banging on it. Cut it. Break it up. Cut it. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. Break it up. I was crying. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And uh, that's when I called the paramedics. Police say Perez admitted to dousing a man and rubbing alcohol. Look at that beautiful baby. It looked like her eyes hazel, too. Go ahead, sugar. And say moments later, the victim lit a blunt, catching his hand on fire before flames quickly spread. So did he not set himself on fire? She doused him with alcohol. She ain't light the match. He lit a blunt, though. And he went up in flames. Let me bag it up just a smidgen. Now, we just can't be blaming the babies for everything. Look Moments up. later, the victim lit a blunt hold on, hold on. to catch his called the paramedics. Come on. Police say Perez admitted to Ooh. dousing a man and rubbing alcohol. Okay. And say moments later, the victim lit a blunt, mm -hmm. catching his hand on fire before flames quickly spread. When I looked out the window when he, when the paramedic put him on a stretcher, he was all burnt up on his whole body. According to police paperwork, mm. Perez told police she was upset with the victim for being unfaithful and admitted that she was a drug addict. Well, that I have. Listen, I told y'all about the damage. You got to be a hundred mile radius outside of where you live at if you're going to have you a significant other or something like that right now. And suffers from mental illness. Okay. Okay. She say I'm a drug addict and I suffer from mental illness and he cheated. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sheely tells mm -hmm. KDKA he knew something bad would eventually happen and claims he's called police and his landlord every other day for months to no avail. I blame it on police and I blame it on the landlord. I told them something's going to happen. This lady is cuckoo. <laughs> lady is cuckoo. Now, now, a lot of people may look at it as, well, maybe he was jealous. Maybe he was jealous because he was living alone. Maybe she was cuckoo. Maybe the landlord, they were like, you know what? Um, as long as we get our dog on rent, they can behave however they want to be behave as long as they don't tear up nothing. You say Perez says she is Dominican. Hey, 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 man. But listen, the one thing that she didn't do is set her man on fire. Nope, she didn't do that. Now, the victim was last listed in stable condition after being treated for first and second degree burns. Mm -hmm. As for Perez, she remains behind bars tonight. Her bail was denied. Damn, that baby ain't even getting no bun. Hold on, shorty. Wait, wait, wait. Break it up. Cut it, cut it cut out. Cut it out. Break it up. Crying. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And uh, that's mm -hmm. when I called the paramedics. Police say Perez admitted mm -hmm. to dousing a man and rubbing alcohol. She admitted dousing with rubbing alcohol. We just have to listen to the words. She she admitted to that part. Then I then I throw some alcohol on. He out here cheating on me, giving that meat away. He all burnt up now. <laughs> Nobody might not want him. And say moments later, the victim lit a blunt, catching his hand on fire before flames quickly spread. This is fault that he forgot to dry off. So as soon as she hit him with 
the fluid, the alcohol, he must have just grabbed the joint and been like, eh, that ain't going to do nothing, you know? Yeah, I'm still finna smoke some. Why he was still wet with. This is a learning lesson for a whole bunch of us. Don't have alcohol on and or around you when you lighten your blunt. This is a learning lesson. So, in closing, she did not burn him. She did not set him on fire. He sought himself on fire by the actions that he did. The, the, the... Damn it, it all went wrong when she found out he was fine dangling out here. He was sharing that meat out here in the street. Hell, his second problem was she had mental issues and she a dope fiend or a drug addict. Uh, his third thing is, there is no third. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighting the blunt while he was wet, wet. And that's pretty much it. Moving right along, ain't gonna eat much, hold ya. Ooh!